One of the tools I see Worcester teachers making the most use of in the virtual classroom is called Edpuzzle. Edpuzzle is brand new to me, so I hope walking you through the process of turning one of my old lessons into a new Edpuzzle will be helpful. I imagine that there are things about Edpuzzle that you know that I don't, so I am hoping to learn some things today as well. During in-person instruction, when I wanted to check in individually with students or I wanted to conference or do some one-on-one formative assessments, I would often assign a video related to our daily objective. Most often, I would create six questions, one for each level of thinking from Bloom's taxonomy. And that meant that the questions got progressively more and more open-ended and more and more challenging. So Edpuzzle is uniquely suited to activities like this because students can complete the six guiding questions that correspond to a video. And for a lot of these assignments, I had already noted in my lesson plans the timestamp to help me figure out what part of the video the question was focused on. So rather than reinventing the wheel, I was just able to use this information. I found it extraordinarily helpful and set about creating some new Edpuzzles. You can actually just copy the URL of your YouTube video right into Edpuzzle and it pops up on your screen. From there, click edit and the video will allow you to cut out parts that maybe you don't want students to see and also to ask some questions. You'll notice that there is a voiceover tab up here, but if your video, like most videos, comes from YouTube, it's likely that you won't have access to this feature. Let's focus on the questions. So under the question tab, I was able to toggle to the parts of the video, which corresponded to each question, and just copy and paste from my existing lesson plan into the video. I selected open response for these questions, and when I was finished, I hit the assign button. So I was able to post the Edpuzzle directly to my Google Classroom. You can also take an existing Edpuzzle video, there are thousands upon thousands that another teacher has made and just add in new questions. Um, you can actually edit the questions that he or she has already asked in order to better suit your daily objective. Those assignments can be uploaded directly to the Google Classroom as well. 